I am very proud and super excited to announce the release of the patch 2.22 for Battle for Middle Earth 1, which you can download from the link in the description down below. After you download that, it will be a pet switcher, which you can simply open. It will give you the chance to switch between the patches 1.03, 1.06 and the patch, our patch 2.22. And also you will get the chance to start the game and that is the plan, ladies and gentlemen. That is the plan. I'm so excited actually. Look at the, our starting screen, by the way. I'm a, guys, come on now. Look at the ring now. Oh my goodness. It's been a very, very interesting experience, guys. Countless hours were invested into this patch, and I'm very certain you will love that. Me as a player for Battle for Middle of One, I was playing over 15 years, and I believe the game is a very great and nice game. However, some abilities, some units, and also some heroes were kind of off the place. They were not having any impact on the gameplay, and also the campaign was kind of zoomed in too much. So we have improved literally, literally everything, and I will only be able to show you a couple of these changes for the general gameplay and of course we will be breaking that down later on into every single faction but look at that we have now plenty plenty of new maps Adam Morris, uh, Glanduin, Greenway, Lithat, Little Loon everyone and pretty much like 50% of the maps including here are new which were not existing in the normal battle for middle of one and I can't wait to play on these maps and I would love to play with you guys. You can also join the multiplayer scene. Just make sure to join our Discord in the you know description down below and I would love to play with you. And also this is gonna include some player made maps, the trilogy map for example, which is a great map for some great gimmick gaming experience. We have also removed zoom limits, but that is not even needed because we changed the zoom limit of the game to 600, not only in the skirmishes, in the multiplayer, but also in the campaign. It means the campaign will be a full different experience for you as well okay so i will just get a test map this way i can show you guys some of the changes and explain the reasoning why we did some certain changes just because you might be curious you know all right let's go so basically uh, you can see that's the set zoom limit now we have 600 zoom limit i wanted to make sure that you have like and not the normal zoom from BFME 1, which is going to be something like that. And again, the gaming experience in long terms is horrible, at least for me. And I thought it's the same for you. That's why you will now be able to zoom out a bit more. And you can also have this, you know, test map in your patch, by the way. You can use this map to test out many, many different things. Uh, I want to show you guys what we did to the heroes. We have now new portraits, new images in the Palantia for every single hero. Aragorn, Legolas, Gimli, Boromir, Gondor Mustang, Merry, Pippin, and of course, I like Theodin, Elwin, Elmer, Paramir, who is trying to show his quality look his face. Lords, do what I say. Saruman. Gollum, look at look this cutie guys. <laughs> and maybe you have noticed, Witch King has now some voice lines, and he's not going to repeatedly say no man can kill me. He's gonna still say that, but he has a different, uh, he has many many different voice lines. I will break him, and when you attack with him, Listen now. I mean, he, I mean, we wanted to make sure that he's not saying it every single time. But he will say, I will smash him. Like, many, many great, great sound experience you will um, witness, of course, in the changes. And in the next following versions, and of course, we will be keep working on these changes all the time to make the experience for you guys as good as possible. They've also implemented some sound effects to summons like, for example, Elven Allies and Rohan Allies, as well as to the Ent Allies. I will show you guys. That is no Orkhorn. So basically, after the Elven summon, you will hear Legolas saying, that is no Orkhorn. When you call the Rohirrim, it's gonna sound like that. Gonda calls for aid. Rohan will answer. Gonda calls for aid and Rohan will answer. And also what we did, and I believe that's a very great change, and I'm very certain that you will love that, is that we have now, you have now the chance to see every cooldown from every single power point. Like when you go with your cursor over here, it will tell you cooldown 3 minutes, 
cooldown four minutes so basically we were kind of trying to take as many informations from the game as possible just to give you as many informations as you potentially can because i was playing bfme for many many years and i was always assuming and guessing because we had no real numbers to work with we had no cooldown windows you know what i'm saying and of course now it's the case we have also the powerpoint uh, for a uh, gandalf so visa plus is one minute lightning sword is for four minutes but gandalf is a bit tricky one because when you pick gandalf the white from the spell book it will make your powers recharge twice as quickly that means the cooldown is going to be lowered by 50 percent each but no problem guys we got you because watch now the picture is changing and also the cooldowns are changing from one minute to two, uh, to 30 seconds from uh, four minutes down to two minutes so it's adaptive and again we wanted to make it as informative as possible but what are the changes besides that so basically um in bfme1 we had a couple of uh, power points as for example called the heart from mordor but also the cloud break from gondor and rohan and cloud break was kind of a little bit useless in my opinion just because fear was not a big problemo in bfme1 since the units when they get level 2 they will automatically get the fear resistant and that means horn of gondor from boromir cloud break from gondor or rohan and also elendil from aragorn as well as screech from a nazgul or from the witch king himself wouldn't affect any unit when they would be level 2. it means in long terms and even mid game because you need to collect you know two and then seven power points afterwards nine power points to reach to the cloud break even more if you follow a different route of power points and by the time you get to this power point your opponent usually will have of course level 2 units and it means the stun effect from cloud break is going to be absolutely useless however this is completely reworked now we also tried to lower the cool uh, lower the uh, amount of amount of combat experience and also the leadership system because bfme in like multiplayer games but also in single player games i have the feeling or i had the feeling personally that there is too much combat experience that's why we for example lowered the cooldown or i mean the combat experience from gandalf the white from 200 person down to 100 person it's still great but your gondor knights are not going to be able to level 10 to reach level 10 after killing like two towers you know so leveling up is going to be a bit more challenging it's still going to be not very very hard let's be real but it's at least a little bit better than it was before cloud break is going to stun enemy units when they are level one or level two it means the minimum requirements for the automatic fear resistance for the units got changed from level two up to level three however for that reason we had to implement more fear resistant possibilities for each faction like for example aragon will now offer um, also fear resistant um legolas will offer passively fear resistant for the nearby you know archers and then of course Saruman uh, will also offer you fear resistant. Uh, Tainted Land will offer you fear resistant. So every faction will have at least one up to two ways of getting fear resistant, and they need to be smart about it. When you see Boromir, and Boromir, by the way, is going to be a bit more useful. We lowered his price down from 1600 down to 1400. But again, I would like to break it down for each faction because I don't want to give too much information in one single video. And of course, the download link. And also the changelog link is going to be in the description down below so take a look yourself download the patch play it in campaign skirmish and if you want to i would like to play with you also in multiplayer games and again the only or the easiest way to do that is to join our discord server and we will be playing this patch in the following days weeks months and even years by improving it every single time and bringing the gaming experience of battle for middle of one to the next level together this patch is not for me this patch is not for the people who are making it with me together this patch is made for you because i wanted to actually help out to improve your gaming experience by playing battle for middle of one in 2022 that's why the patch is also called patch 2.22 it represents that bfme one is still alive in 2022 and i am looking forward to even improve it every single time and again BFME didn't get any changes since many many years and I don't want to go overboard I have still many many crazy ideas so please let me know in the comment section down below which of the changes we have implemented is your most favorite and which is something you don't like to see at all and also very quick information we wanted to make sure that camping or you know that like building laser towers as Gondor with like bunch of trebuchet for the defense is going to be a bit harder 
that's why we improved or we increased rather the amount of cost for trebuchet it means you can still get them on the field of course but you need to invest a little bit more money because i used to not like the fact that i had to break to a entire line of trebuchet and catapults before i can touch my opening's castle so this is a bit reworked and again it's still an experiment for us as well but trust me i've been playing dfme one for 15 years so i would say i have enough experience and i think personally and i strongly believe that that these changes are going to make the gaming experience from battle for middle of one overall much much greater again in the following videos tomorrow and the day after we will break down the changes and also play multiplayer games so you can see the changes in the actual gameplay uh, for Isengard, Mordor, Gondor and Rohan and of course the multiplayer is not going to be only 1v1 we will also play 2v2s, 3v3s, 4v4s literally get the maximum amount what we can from the patch and I am certain that you guys will also love the new patch with the new maps, with the new sound effects we added with the new heroes uh, and of course in the following versions we will add even more maps to the patch we will also add hd textures but also i believe this question is going to come you can also use our patch to play mods like shadow and flame to play mods like legends of the third age there is no problem with that and if you ever have the feeling which i hope you won't have the feeling you can always switch with the pet switcher again to patch 1.06 and I will just demonstrate to you guys that you can also use the HD edition from Battle for Middle of One. I will also link that in the description down below by using our patch. And HD edition is overall able to improve the graphics of the game. Like Oryx would have like shields and many, many different uh, assets would be changed. And normally this was only working with the patch 1.06, but we made it. So it's also working with our patch, the patch 2.22. I want to say thank you guys for watching and I am super hyped about it, by the way. I am so excited about that. I don't know what, what I can say. So this shell map is pretty brand new, by the way. Only exclusively for our patch, of course. Let me please know in the comment section down below. I'm very curious about your opinion. I would love to hear some feedback, either in the comments of the YouTube video, also in Discord, of course. I believe Discord is going to be a better place because we can interact with each other much, much faster and smoother. And again, guys, nothing is set in stone. This is only the beginning and trust me, I will try my best, and with your help, I'm certain we can do that. I'm not doing that alone, by the way. Special thanks to Dimek, to Balindru, and to Palando, who are helping out for countless hours. Coding, making the patch switcher, making all the images, all the design for the patch. So alone, you can't do nothing in 2022. So you need always to have a team, and I believe we have a crazy, effective, and awesome team. And with your help, we can revive BFME, and bring it to the next level. I see you next time. Until then, keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out.